Welcome to this video. We are covering today five basic steps to improve the security of your Alfresco deployment. You may find additional recommendations in securing your installation page from official Alfresco documentation. But let's focus on these five steps now. Alfresco deployments include a set of services using different communication protocols to work together. In a typical ACS platform, there are some UI applications like Alfresco Content Application and Search, REST API endpoints and ActiveMQ service for integration purposes, and some internal resources like the Alfresco repository, Solar6, and PostgreSQL database. Our first point today is related with password storage. Alfresco is storing user passwords in the database using a hashing algorithm to avoid having the plain text in the database. We will be reviewing today the different hashing algorithms available to get that digest from a user password. This step is only relevant for deployments using default Alfresco authentication, since for other approaches like LDAP or Alfresco Identity Services, password management is out of the scope of the Alfresco platform. The second step relates to web proxy configuration. Instead of exposing directly every service, a proxy configuration provides a single entry point for every external request. That makes easier to implement security measures and protections on your platform. A third step would be to add TLS protocol for that web proxy to enable HTTPS communications with ACS applications and services. Using this approach enables encryptions, that means privacy, in every operation. Remember that it's recommended to use TLS version 1.2 or TLS version 1.3 for this configuration, relying on digital certificates using at least 2048 bits for the RSA key. Alfresco and Solar Communication is not authenticated when using plain HTTP protocol. The fourth step includes a safer configuration for this communication that may be based in search secret HTTP header or mutual TLS. We are covering the mutual TLS configuration in this video that is based in TLS version 1.2 using digital certificates of 2048 bits of RSA keys. Remember that mutual TLS requires server and client certificates to ensure authentication between the parties. Finally, the fifth step is related to ActiveMQ service. This service is used for asynchronous messages production and consumption. Alfresco repository is producing messages every time a document is created or updated in the repository, while Alfresco even API, the auto-process SDK, is consuming these messages. Using credentials authentication protects unauthorized access to these resources. Let's create now a reference deployment covering all these steps by using the Alfresco Docker installer tool. Alfresco Docker Installer is a tool that allows you to create some um, Docker Compose templates so you can test and deploy the Alfresco platform. We are covering today some uh, configuration that will implement all that five steps we are talking about. So let's start with the, with the program from command line. And we are going to choose um, all the versions we were talking about. So the latest ACS version, we are going to use 16 gigabytes of RAM. We are going to use in this case a web proxy by using TLS configuration. So yes, for this option, the name of the server is localhost in our case, because it's a local deployment. We may change the password for the admin user, so let's uh, change to Highland. 
we are going to expose all the different service by using the same port, the default HTTPS port. We are not going to use FTP. We are going to use PostgreSQL and we are deploying um, Solar with uh, configuration for different languages. In this case, for the communication between Alfresco and Solar, we are going to use the HTTPS configuration in order to enable mutual TLS communication. In addition, we are going to add credentials for the ActiveNQ server. So uh, let's say that we are going to use Alfresco as the username and Highland as the password. We are not going to create that, uh, any additional server or any additional add-on. And with that, we have the sample configuration created in our local computer. We can see two different warnings related to the uh, key stores and trust stores um, produced by default in order to support all these TLS protocols we were talking about. But we are going to go deeper with that later when we are talking about the TLS on the SSL proxy and also uh, related with the communication with Alfresco and Solar. So yes, let's start the configuration so we can uh, test every of the uh, different steps we are talking about. Let's start reviewing step one, that is the password storage on the Alfresco database. Uh, remember that this only applies when using Alfresco NTLM subsystem authentication. This doesn't apply to LDAP or some other authentication subsystems. And by default, Alfresco is using ND4, um, cipher uh, algorithm, in order to store database uh, passwords but there are also some other alternatives available. In this case, we are choosing vcrypt that is based in the Blowfish algorithm and that is adding also some salt to it. So the passwords stored in the database are not only encrypted, but also they are different even when the user is choosing the same uh, password in, in plain text. We have a living Docker Compose with the configuration we saw before. So let's see what happens to the, to the database with that configuration. Default configuration for the Alfresco uh, service in our Docker Compose YML file. It's adding some default admin password. That is this string. This is the ND4 uh, digest for Highland. And we are also including that system prefer password encoding to bcrypt. So default password will be created in ND4, but all the password, all the new password, and even we are going to see how this old one is also translated into the new algorithm, is going to be stored with this bcrypt tem algorithm. So uh, let's find the uh, DB. Uh, container and let's get into in order to see how the password is stored. So the 74 we are uh, this is the Alfresco database. We are entering the Alfresco database and we are going to check how the password is stored initially. So initially we can see that for the admin password, this is the uh, password string stored in the database in ND4. But as we selected that Blowfish algorithm, once we uh, get into the, uh, the platform the first time by using the Highland password, once this happened, we are now uh, logging into the platform then we can see that this password is not anymore an ND4 password. 
from now the password will be stored with using that bcrypt algorithm so we can see that the hash indicator for that username is bcrypt10 and if we want to know the pass we can mm, check the password hash that in this case is very different from the previous one so even if someone is able to get access to the database they will find something that is harder to decrypt than the original uh, method based in md4 uh, cipher algorithm so uh, just a recap just use this new uh, encoding password that blow fees algorithm and change your default admin password in order to protect all this information. Step two is related with creating a reverse proxy in order to protect all the different UI applications and also the REST API application and even the search services application from external access. In order to do that, we created some proxy inside the Docker Compose YML file that is protecting all these applications. So all the uh, requests, uh, external requests to the platform will be uh, proxied by this engine's uh, web proxy, but you may also use some other. So we are creating a configuration that allow us to protect some external invocations to uh, Solar REST API. We are also creating some proxy paths to the content application, to the Alfresco, to the API Explorer, to the REST API, and also for SER. And in this case, we are not including Solar because we are using MTLS communication for it, but we are going to see that later. So we are protecting the access to every resource by including a web proxy in front. So this is also recommended so you can have one single entry point in order to control all the uh, access to the, to the platform. Step three is related with adding some security to this uh, reverse proxy we created. We are uh, adding for that a TLS protocol, SSL protocol uh, to this web proxy. So every communication is encrypted with the, with the platform. To uh, get that, we are including some extra information on the uh, configuration for the engines, on the configuration for the proxy. So we are adding some server certificates, this local host certificate and localhost private certificate. We are uh, adding this configuration to engines in order to listen by the SSL port using these certificates and uh, using that TLS v.1 and v.3 uh, uh, TLS protocol that are considered to be safe. We are uh, using a default certificate for that. That is this one that is including uh, a self signed certificate we create for that with the right signature algorithm based in uh, 2048 bits and with the right extensions in order to support this configuration. It's recommended to replace this one by your own if you want to provide additional configuration. Since the Alfresco Docker installer is providing this default certificate that is fine, but is uh, self-generated and probably you can uh, create something that is uh, specifically for you. So every service is now using HTTPS protocol in order to access the platform and all the communications are encrypted. The step four is taking care on the communication between Alfresco and Solar that by default is 
not authenticated so you are using http then this communication is not authenticated so we need to add something in order to increase the security in this kind of communication you can choose the secret uh, protocol that is related with including some secret on the http header but in this sample we are focused on the mtls communication so mutual tls with server and client certificates on every alfresco and solar service in order to do that we are adding some information to the um, alfresco service and also uh, some additional configuration to the solar service that relies on some certificates that are provided by using an external volume we are creating this um, these key stores remember that you need a key store and a trust store for both solar and alfresco we are generating this uh, key store and trust store by using the alfresco ssl generator tool this tool is providing rsa 2048 uh, certificates but again you uh, can generate your own in order to get more uh, security on your system so from from now all the communications between alfresco and solar will be happening encrypted and also with mutual authentication finally for the latest step step five we are adding some authentications and credentials between alfresco and active and queue and also between the alfresco even api the auto process sdk and active and queue to get that configuration we are adding some properties to the alfresco uh, service the broker url but also username and password and this configuration is also provided to the uh, active and queue service by using this uh, both environment variables so from that all the communications to the um, to the to this broker to this active and queue broker will be protected by using mm, username and password if you want to use the auto process remember to add also this configuration to your clients in order to use that uh, username and password to access to that So with that simple five steps, you can increase the security on your system by protecting the uh, password uh, storage in the database, by creating some web proxy in order to protect the access to the different UI applications and REST applications from Alfresco, adding some encryption uh, with the TLS configuration in order to use HTTPS for every communication, increasing the security and between alfresco and solar adding that mutual tls so all the requests are authentic authenticated and also for the active and queue adding a user password that only allows to these clients to consume and produce events hope that was helpful and see you next time bye